What is going on everybody and welcome to the latest episode of our 50-50 Thief 16 Road to Glory. If you are still enjoying this series, make sure you leave a big thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you're new around here and also if you missed last episode which is an absolute beast of one, make sure you go and check out any that you've missed actually. I'll put a link to the playlist in the description down below so make sure you check those out but today we're actually going forward with two really, really nice teams compared to what we had before because of all the packs that we got from winning the draft. We've got this team here, which is like a sort of sort of Spanish Premier League, Brazilian, I don't even know. It's a bit of a mixture. It's not great chemistry. I just wanted to get two teams where I could use both the informers that are packed. So we've got this one here, which is, that's the sound goddamn team for God's sake. And then we've got this one as well. This is the second team, which has got the inform um, Hutchinson that we packed. Again, similar sort of chemistry around the 70 mark, but we've now actually got some decent players to be working with so we're going to start off today's episode as always by flipping the coin this time we're going to go for heads tails did us right last time so we're going to go for heads in the theory that we can't have twice in a row but of course i'm sure that theory is about to get shit on and ladies and gentlemen it is yep god damn it knew it was too good to happen again we have unfortunately got tails and that means we're going to be taking something out of the bad pot for today's episode so let's just dig out the bad pot here it is everybody, let's give it a bit of a shake up and see what we are going to be doing in today's episode. Hopefully something that isn't too harsh because we've got these two teams that are really, really want to use. We're going to give these a bit of a shake up and we are going to take this one. Oh, I've got two there, god damn it. No, there's one. I managed to wheedle it out. That is the one we're going for. So let's see what we have got and what we are going to be doing today. Oh god, no. Actually, that's not too bad. We've actually got pack suicide. Now, what that means for people that aren't familiar, it means that we have to spend all our coins on packs. Now, I can't remember just how many coins we've got, how many we've got. We've got 7,900 coins. It's not great. I'd have liked to have bought a better player with you, but you never know. We could get a good player. So, let's do a little bit of a pack suicide now, and then we'll get into, the, into today's games, lads. So as we've only got 7,900 coins, all we can pretty much do is buy one gold pack for 7.5k and then probably, yeah, and one bronze pack. So we'll do the bronze pack first. It's a bit of a shame, like I say, because we had 7.9k, 8k pretty much. That is enough to get some decent players in, but that all goes down the shitter now. We get the Rios in that pack, obviously. Oh, oh that doesn't look too bad, actually. Left mid, Henschel. Got a bit of pace for a bronze, so he could be okay. I doubt we'll use him, but you never know. So let's store all this into the club. And then the gold pack. This is, of course, where we could actually get something pretty decent. It's very unlikely, of course, but you never know. Let's see what we end up with, lads. Please, a rare player. Yes, we do. We get Vlad Chiriches. Is that? Yeah, that's actually not so bad. I don't know if you've got any Serie A players at the moment. I can't remember, but we also get Tarasov and we also get Lossal. But Chiriches is not a bad pull. Kir Kirikes, Chiriches, I don't know how you say it, but 75 pace. Decent work rate. Oh, no, he's got terrible work rates for a centre back. But, um, yeah, could have been worse, could have been better. We also got, ironically, 500 coins in a pack suicide. But um, let's store them away and let's get into today's games, lads. So, lads, we're going to use the loan Costa team for our first game in today's episode. And Vlad Kirikes is actually slotted straight into the team and taken our chemistry up by six. So, that wasn't too bad at all. You can see he's sitting on seven chem. Strong link to the informed left back that we've got Gulan. But um, everyone should be on full fitness. They are indeed. Let's jump into the first game and see how we get on. So lads, let's see what team we are coming up against for the first game. He's got 94 chemistry, he's got Falco, he's got Martial, he's got Wijnaldum, he's got Belassi, Son on the wrong side of the pitch for some reason. But um, a decent Premier League team, not the strongest. He's playing through at the back, I mentioned it in the last episode as well. Whenever I'm playing through at the back, I sort of fancy my chances. We've got this team that I'm really like excited to try out actually. We've also got this new Real Madrid kit that we packed in the last episode as well. So um, let's see how we get on. This is going to be interesting, lads. One, two. Oh my god, the football, lads. Oh, fucking hell, what a little move that was. Straight from the kickoff, pretty much. Jesus. Very scrappy at the moment, this is. Go on, put it through. Isco, you are in. Isco, can he get a debut goal? Come on, finesse that. Get in there, lads. One nil up. Isco with the tidy little finesse on his debut. We packed him at the very start of the last episode in one of the. Um, I can't even remember what pack's still in there, but I think we, we spent like. 15k in a pack, maybe we got him, but he's got in with a debut goal. I'll finish it really nicely, and we take a 1 0 lead. Gulan, come on, son, what can you do? You're an inform, show your worth. Oh my god, he's showing his worth. He's showing his worth, alright. Gulan, Gulan, pull it back. Oh, he's really unlucky. Come on, inside. Oh, what a ball, please, for 2 0. Yes, get in there. That was an absolutely beautiful little reverse pass from Isco, I think it was, to put through. Who I assumed was going to be Diego Costa, but I'm not actually sure who that is. But he took it really well, whoever it was. Look at this for a beautiful reverse ball. I think it was Isco. I'm not entirely sure. But um, 
Who's that, number five? Do not say that, it's Gulam. Do not say, oh no, it's Gazi. Gazi also getting a debut goal. A lot of players in this game making the debut, as you'd imagine. So half-time, lads, we are 2-0 up in this game, which started off really well. We were playing nice football. We got the two goals, and out of nowhere, there's some unbearable lag. I don't know what's causing it or anything, but it's made this, the second half of the first half pretty unplayable, to be honest. You can see we've had four shots through on target. He's had the same, 2-0 up, but right now the lag is just being uh, very frustrating, to say the least. Oh, go on. Go on, lad. He's done really well there. He's done extremely well. Go on, make it three. Oh, yes, really nice goal that was. This guy doesn't seem too bad, especially especially defending. He seems to just stand there and tackle, which is something that works quite well. But did him there with a nice little bit of skill from Leonardo. I didn't expect him to even get the ball in the first place, but tucked it away nicely as well. And that is 3-0. Get in there, Costa. Attack that space. Oh, my God, back stick. What a ball. <gasps> what a save. He's not gone. Oh, my God, what a save again. Oh, my. that might be the greatest double save I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. Okay, connection with the opponent has been lost. I'm guessing he quit after that incredible incredible double save from his goalkeeper. So uh, let's see how many coins we get. That's a nice win. Might be our first or possibly second in Division 9 as well. We've got 533 coins for that win, which pretty much doubles our coin total right now. You can see this guy actually had seven shots to our nine, so he wasn't even too bad, but we were just far more clinical. And you can see that puts us onto four points in Division 9, so it was our first win. We've now got a win, a draw, and a loss. Let's jump into our next game. I think I might change to the second team as well now. Here we go then lads, game number two of today's episode and we are coming up against a 59 chemistry team. This is exactly what we want to see. He has got, um, is that, who is that up front? I don't even know what, oh god I do know his name, what's his fucking name? Barini, that's his name, Barini. God damn it man, how did that take me so long to remember? Got it wide straight away, well played Berardi, who has already been a bit of a beast for us in this road to glory. Oh my god Berardi. Cut it across, surely? <gasps> yes, 1-0 up straight away. Berardi, who's been really good for his in his road to glory team so far. He just absolutely kills his defender down the right-hand side, gives him the sausage, cuts it back across to that bloke's name that I cannot pronounce, the French guy I think he is, and he puts it in just about. 1-0 up straight away here, lads. This is looking promising. Come on, Berardi. Oh, God, that dribbling is so good on the dribble. Cuts inside again, surely? Oh, how unlucky, 2-0. This guy is clearly a fucking poacher because Berardi twice. He is onside, isn't he? Yeah, he is onside. Thank God for that. Berardi, again, absolutely killing his defender. That ball roll there just completely sells him. Hits the first, really unlucky. And he's there again for the tapping. Clearly, he is just a bloody poacher. Ter Terreo. Let me know how you pronounce that in the comments. Get it down that line. Find Berardi. He's the danger man. Oh my God. I thought his keeper was coming a long way then. Berardi, he's got the pace. He has got the pace for days. Berardi again. Another ball roll, please. Oh my god, Berardi is tearing this guy a new one. 3-0. Simple skill moves, lads. The ball roll can sometimes be the most effective. Absolutely roasted him there. Two ball rolls, one one way, one the other, and then it's just near post OP. Just absolutely hammer it from close range. 3-0. And we are battering this guy. Berardi with one, and the guy's down that I can't pronounce with two. Ding that over the top. This is a chance for the hat trick if he can take a good touch. Oh my god, can he take a good touch? You wanker! We could have had the hat trick with the guys there that I can't pronounce, but he's quick. 3 0. Absolutely bombash that guy there. He was never in the game whatsoever. I think the stats all show, but I don't think he even had a shot. We ended up coming home only 304 coins, which is a bit disappointing, but when people rage, what can you do? We had six shots, he had three. I didn't even seem like he had three, to be honest, but um, let's get into the last game of today's episodes, lads, and hopefully maintain our 100% record. You can see as well, if we do win this next game, we do get promotion to the next episode with one more needed for the uh, for the title, which is cool. And we're going to switch back to the Diego Costa team. Because I've got two teams now, hopefully I should be not needing as anywhere near as many squad fitnesses. So we're back with this team. Hopefully we can do the job. I've only just realised that that freaking Leonardo is a left mid on the right. So I forgot about that. He's on one camp. That is freaking stupid, lads. But uh, last game of the episode, let's go. So third and final game of today's episode, lads. Let's see what we're going up against. It's 100 chemistry. It's Bundesliga. Probably actually the strongest team that we have played today. Got Kostic on the left, who's really dangerous. Hernandez, Chikorito up top, of course, who's also a bit of a beast. Not quite sure who that is. Oh, I do know. It's Mkhitaryan at right mid, of course it is. So he's got pretty decent three players there. Hopefully, though, we can come through with the win again. We are playing well today, so fingers crossed we can do. Let's go. Come on, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Match him, match him. Oh, God, we just haven't got the pace. Well played. No, what have I done? What have I done? Please don't punish me. Please don't punish me. Please don't punish me. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, he's not going down the middle, I don't think. Oh, fuck you. He's taken a, taken a really good penalty. Tooken, that's not even a fucking word. 1-0 down, lads. The dribbling of dreams. Flicks it back. 
Nice touch. Crack that. Oh, God, did that deflect? I went to go to the post. Yeah, bloody did. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Where's my defence? Where the hell is my defence? We're 2-0 down. I don't believe it. He's only had two shots. Oh, my God. Chance. Chance. Tap in. Yes. One back straight away at the start of the second half. That's 2-1. It's about bloody time. Nodded in the rebound again. The shot just wouldn't go in this time, though. We get a bit lucky, get the rebound, and there is lots of time to come back in this second half now. Come on. Made this both well. Got the shot away, and then nodded in the rebound. Lafita. Go on, my son. Oh, my God. Lafita. What a touch. That's filth. Far too filthy for Lafita to be doing. Give and go. Give and go. Give and go. Oh, God. That Lafita touch just had a goal on its own. And they, oh, yes, well, stepped in again. Twice. <gasps> Please, this has got to be. Yes, 2-2. Two, two, get in there. We deserve that, lads, in this game. Bat level after we went 2-0 down in the first half. Diego Costa scores his first goal of today's episode, surprisingly. But now we need to go on and win this game. We are far much better than this guy. Played it into Costa. Good first touch. Hammers it in. Come on, we can do this. Where's my defence again? I'm on defensive. If he scores this again, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, he's actually done some skill. No. No. How? The break of dreams, man. Every time my defence is so open, it's ridiculous. Admittedly, he did absolutely kill me with a bit of skill after that. But my god, that is so fucking frustrating. Oh my god, Lafita is on one. He's legit on one. Cuts him back. What are you doing? What are you actually doing, Lafita? He's having the game of his bloody life here. Oh, lads, full time, a 3-2 loss, and it's so bloody undeserved, but still, a pretty decent episode on the whole. We have got two wins to our one loss. We did have a 100 chemistry team as well, but we just could not live with bloody Mkhitaryan on that right-hand side. His pace absolutely killed me. We come out with 453 coins, which isn't the worst, and you can see from the stats, we had 12 shots. This guy had five. It just was not our day. It does happen on FIFA, as many of you are aware, but... um. That does mean we need two wins out of the next episode, out of the three, and we will be leaving as champions of Division 9 still, which isn't too bad at all. Record not too great from Division 9, but when you're having handicaps against us, particularly like in the last uh, the couple of episodes ago, there's not too much you can do about it. But um, like I said at the start, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new around here, love to hear your feedback and thoughts in the comments down below. As always, hope you all have a good day, and I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, tomorrow's video, lads, even. Need you out.